guys, how you doing? I'm Matt Gear, and you're watching Beginner's Guitar Lessons on Matt Gear TV. Today I'm going to teach you about power chords, which I know you're going to love, because from power chords comes metal. Oh yeah! Now there's a number of different power chords that you can play and what they all have in common is that they're very simple. However, today I'm just going to show you one type of power chord and that is the fifth. Now, if you've ever looked at any music, uh, anything by Metallica, anything like that, anything transcribed, chances are you've probably seen a symbol that will say E5 or D5 or F5 or something 5. Now, what that is, is that's essentially a power chord. The 5 in that notation, so E5, basically means that you're playing an E chord and the only other note that you're playing along with the E is the 5th of that scale from E. So, put simply, if I'm playing an E major scale and I start on an E, that's the 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that 5th note, that's the other note that I'm going to play with the E to make my chord. And what that's technically known as is a dyad, so di meaning two. If you played a three note chord that would be called a triad. Now by itself that might not sound particularly promising, but if I stick some overdrive on it, now it sounds pretty rock. And if I drop in the low octave as well, that's sounding pretty good. The other great thing about these chords, as well as being easy to play in one position, they're very easy to move around because you've only got two notes that you're playing at any one time. If you're on a particular uh, string, you can basically just move your hand around using the same shape. <laughs> So let's have a look how you can build this chord and then you can start moving it around and playing some tasty riffs for yourself. First of all I'm going to show you how to play this fifth power chord in the open position and what that means is that the bass note, the root note of the chord, will be played on an open string. So the first of these chords is going to be the E5. Now the lowest string on the guitar, the thickest string, is an E. That's this one that's closest to you at the top. Now, we said before that the chord, the power chord E5 is created by starting on the E and then counting up the scale. It doesn't matter whether it's the major scale or the minor scale actually because the fifth in the major and the fifth in the minor scale are still actually the same fifth, it's still the same interval and that's what we're interested in to make the chord. So starting here as one, two, three, four, five. I've actually gone at the minor scale there and I've ended up on the second fret of the A string and that is the fifth note of the E scale. And so if I play that along with the low E string, just sounding those two strings, no other strings, that's E5. Whack up the volume a little bit with a bit of gain. That's your first power chord. E5, one finger, dead easy to do. Because the intervals between the E and the A, the A and the D, and the D and the G string are the same, actually you can use that same shape when we're playing an A5 power chord or a D5 power chord. So if we were to start on the A string now, so that's the, the second string down here, if I play then the open A string and the second fret on the D string, that's now an A5 power chord. E5, A5. Same again if I start on an open D string and then play the second fret on the next string down, which is the G string. That 
that's a D5. So three power chords all in the open position, so all with the root sounding on an open string, an unfretted string. So that's what the chords look like in the open position. Now, because there are only two notes to play, it's actually a very easy chord to play elsewhere on the fretboard and to move around the fretboard as well. Now, if we go back to the E, what we can see is that the basic chord shape from the root is that wherever the root is, I'm going to show you this a little bit closer up so you can see what's going on. Wherever the root is, and in the case of the E, it's the low E string, so it's the nut here on the low E string. The fifth is on the next string and up two frets. So from the E down and up two frets. Now this counts for any root note that you're starting on the E, the A or the D string. I'm not going to worry about the top strings for now because as the tuning is slightly different there, the same chord shape does not apply. So wherever your root is, on the bottom string, next string up, up two frets, that's where your fifth is going to be. And that is the same wherever you start. So if I were going to start, say, on the G, so third fret, third fret on the low E string, to find the fifth, to find the fifth for that, down one string, and then up one, two fret. So that's my, that's my fifth. Now to play the two together, I'm going to put my index finger on the root, and I can play the fifth either with my ring finger or with my little finger. And that's it. That's your chord. And that's the shape then that you can use, as I said, starting on the E string, the A string, or the D string. So one common approach in metal is to chug on that low E string and then play riffs or patterns above that. So all that is is hitting the low E and using that shape that we've seen, root in the fifth, and just moving it around. So what you can do is try doing that and hearing what the sounds are like and the relationship between that chord and that low note that you're chugging. Some of them will work well, some of them won't work quite so well. That's up to you to try and find out. Here's a little lick that you might recognize that uses just this pattern. So a bit of Metallica there for you and really easy to play. I'm going to show you how you can play that riff too. So to start off, we're going to play the E5 power chord, but rather than putting the, the first finger, the index finger, on the second fret on the A string, we're going to put the middle finger here, swearing finger. So the reason that we're doing that is because that then leaves us the first finger and the ring finger to do that motion and play the F power chord here, the F5. If we were playing the index finger here, then we have to move everything to get to the F. Here, we're in position already. So what we're doing is playing, that's the first part. And then the whole lot moves up, starting on the A string, second fret, and then fourth fret on the D string, and then slides down one to the first fret and the third fret. So, these are the chords you're playing. So there's an E5, an F5, a B5, and then a B flat 5. It doesn't really matter if you don't know what the chords are or what they're called, but that's what they are. So. So 
So I hope you guys have found that useful and interesting and seen how that with one simple chord shape you can come up with some really cool stuff and you can start writing your own riffs and also you can see how bands like Metallica have written some of their riffs and their songs. I've been Matt Gear. this has been Matt Gear TV. Do subscribe to my channel and check back soon. There'll be lots more cool lessons, licks and gear reviews. You guys take it easy and I'll see you next time. Cheers.